Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from matthawkins.co.uk. In this tutorial I'll show how you can extract an MPEG-2 file from a DVD using the free VOB to MPG application. And in this tutorial I'll be using version 3. So what you can do is head over to svcd to dvd.com which is shown up here click VOB to MPG in the menu and this will take you to the VOB to MPG page. Now there's two versions of the application available. Version 3 which is free or version 3 Pro which you have to pay. Now if you want to use any of these facilities here then you may be worth um, buying a copy. It's only £12 so it's not a lot really. But for this um, tutorial I'm going to use the free version which I clicked here, downloaded and installed. Right, the first thing that comes up is this dialog box here. In the pro version this dialog box doesn't appear. So I'm just going to click OK. And here's the main interface. Now this application can run in two modes IFO mode and VOBSET mode. If you don't know what VOBSET mode is, don't worry about it, just leave it in the default which is IFO mode. The next thing you need to do is to choose your DVD source. Now you've got three options. You can either read from an unencrypted DVD disc, perhaps one that you've uh, authored yourself from camcorder footage. You can read from a DVD disc while decrypting it on the fly using some other uh, third party software or you can read from a hard drive location where you previously ripped your DVD using a DVD decryptor such as DVD decryptor or DVD fab and in this case I'm going to read from a hard drive location where I previously ripped the DVD using DVD fab so I'm going to click here I'm going to browse to my ripped DVD, go into the Video TS folder and select the Video TS IFO file. It's now read the titles from that disk and not quite sure why it selected title 19, but I'm going to select title 1 which is the title I want to rip and for the sake of demonstration I'm going to select title 5 as well so basically you can look at your disk and you can select whatever titles you want to extract and if you've got more than one audio track on that title you can choose the audio track to extract I'm just going to leave it on the default because in this case there is only one audio track if you expand these options out you can see the chapters within that title now if you've got the pro version you can actually choose which chapters to extract but in the free version you have to have all the chapters for that particular title but that's fine because I just want to extract title 1 and title 5 click here to select your destination so I'm going to select that folder here and once you've selected your source, your destination, you've checked what titles you want to extract you've selected the audio track as required all you need to do is click start extraction up here and it will work through the titles you've selected and it will extract the MPEG files now during the extraction you'll see these MPEG files appear here with raw in the title that's basically the file name it gives the file during the extraction once the extraction is complete those files will get renamed and there we go it's finished extracting so I'm going to click OK 
It'll bring up this dialog box again. Once again, it's the free version. That isn't there in the pro version, but it's no big deal, so I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go and have a look at my files again. I'm just going to jump back in just to refresh them, and there you'll see that they've been given their final uh, file names. And if I double click on this one, There we go. There's my MPEG file from my DVD. And that's pretty much it. It is that simple. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember to click the like button and to share it with your friends on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.